Hey guys, very exciting video coming up. I just thought I'd give you a quick context in regards to this project before we get into the tutorial. This is a 3D model that we created using the Mavic 3 Enterprise. It is a building, a commercial building. Our client, who's a telco client, wants to put some equipment on the top of the roof here. Now the best way to deliver this to them is in the form of a 3D replica or a 3D model, as you can see here. So in order to do this, you need good hardware and good software. Now before we get started, Paul is going to run you through the whole capture process so stick around to the end welcome we are in Shoal Bay which is about an hour north of Newcastle and we're on location here at an apartment complex to do some inspection mapping for a telco company who want to put some kind of uh, telecommunications on the roof. They want to be able to make measurements, they want to be able to spec the AGL. So we're going to be doing some facade inspections, some mapping of the roof structure as well, as well as the overall structure of the building to then run that through our modeling software uh, and then host that for them to do their inspection purposes. So that's what we're going to be doing. I'll just go through some of the workflows that we will use in order to capture this as efficiently as possible. So we're using the Mavic 3 Enterprise with Drone Harmony as the supporting application. So why Drone Harmony? Well, it's a super powerful application for more accurate mapping, modeling, and inspection work. And it's super important to plan in advance for jobs like this, especially on structures that aren't your usual rectangle. It might be, it might have different layers and each, each part of that building is a different size and structure and you wanna make sure that you are capturing all of it as efficiently as possible. You're not overshooting it, you're not undershooting it, it's getting the exact amount of data that you need. And I'll be running through each of the different mission types in a little bit more detail. So because this isn't a building that we can just go on location and pre-plan this, we were able to utilize some freely available data from the Elvis uh, website, which is essentially gives us point cloud data for this location to be able to then plan our operation as best as we can without actually being there on site. And then once we're on site, confirming AGLs, ASLs, the dimensions of the building before we actually execute the mission. So if you wanted to, theoretically, you could plan this, upload it to a pilot in the local area who has the equipment that you want to use, like us to the Mavic 3 Enterprise, get them to download the app, install it into their laptop and install it into their controller and you can just send them the mission plan and then they can execute it exactly how you want them to. All right guys, so the missions that we're going to be running today, you can see this is the structure that we have created through the point cloud map that we installed. If you wanna know how to find and use our free point cloud data, let us know in the comments below and we can show you a tutorial on how to do that. But the best way to do mapping and modeling is a, usually if you're on site, do a rapid point cloud. Uh, essentially that's just a very brief map of the area and then run the point cloud data for you to ascertain uh, elevation as well as the structure size and geometry for you to plan effectively especially if you're using something as powerful as drone harmony and that also lets you know if there's any obstacles in the way like trees like this building does have it also has other buildings around it that might be in the way so you can plan accordingly so just to run through the different flights that we're going to be doing firstly we're going to be doing just a top-down double grid and that is quite complex this is going to be 10 meters above the building and as you can see there is a slight slant in the building itself but we're not going to do any slope mapping what we're going to be able to cover all that in the next we've decided to do which is a 49 meter which is actually from the building top is 20 meters above that these gimbal tilts are at negative 80 instead of straight down and then the next thing that we'll be doing is a wide at 30 40 and 50 and these all have a negative 40 just to give us some wide coverage of the overall building and then the last thing we'll do is just a perimeter inspection about 12 meters all the way around just to get some nice detail on the side facades so then once the plans as simple as uploading this to our site cloud and then signing into the app on the controller and that's just simple going to the drone harmony website uh, on a browser like firefox or whatever you've got installed on your enterprise controller and entering that in and downloading the application uh, we're going to be doing mapping and inspection work and here is where I need to turn the drone on for it to connect to the app itself, which I should have done earlier. What? So now we see the connection status, Drone Harmony has connected to the drone. One thing we're going to be doing is connecting to an NTRIP 
service just to make sure that we've got accurate um, mapping and modeling. We don't have the capacity to do any ground control points on this one. It is highly recommended though. If you do, because we were traveling, we just didn't have the capacity to bring those along. But for what's required here, we're not gonna worry about them. But it's very simple to actually um, activate your RTK. You click on this little RTK up here and go to setup. And we want to be using a, a network RTK. Put in your details that you use to register with that service, we're using the cause network. All right guys, so now that we've connected to our NTRIP system and we've also connected to Wi-Fi on the actual controller itself, we just want to import the most recent uh, site update that we've done. So we go to the bottom right here, just go site storage, load site, and then that's just syncing with the cloud that we'd uploaded from the web application. And then once that's actually synced up, then we just select this site, which is Shoal Bay. Yeah, cloud model, load the site. This is our site here. All right, so I think we're all good to go. Let's get outside and let's start this mapping mission. First thing we're going to be doing is setting up a perimeter downstairs. It's not, it's not going to be a lot of through traffic, but there is the residential apartment building. So we want to make sure we've got a designated area for pedestrian and traffic management. Taking off. All right, launching. <laughs> So the trees are about 11 meters. Bruce right. about 30 meters. So now I'm gonna switch over to Drone Harmony. I'm gonna load up the first mission that we want, which is the 39. Then we're going to launch, and then this is our emergency stop procedure, which we know about that. Fine, connect all satellites. Good. Let's go one meter or so. 17 minutes. Photo recording. That's why I'm not stopping. That's fine. It's going to be the name of it. All right. Camera setup. De warping off. All good. Control settings. We want everything on auto. Return to height altitude. We want that to be higher than this building, which is 30. So let's make that 40. Is return to home. And we want it to return to home. Signal loss. We want to return to home. And that's good. Preview. Now that's going to be the mission preview. Now this is going to be showing us what the actual flight plan is. So it's doing a double grid capture that way and then like that. I'm going to launch the mission and set the capture to shutter priority. We're going to be flying one meter a second, but we want to make sure that's super sharp. And then the aperture can maintain the exposure level. All right, it's about to launch. So now we're going to do a battery swap and do the next uh, flight which is 20 meters above the roof and that's going to be at a slight angle negative 80 degrees and that'll just give us a little bit of extra feel that wasn't captured because it's a small roof uh, on the sort of like the sides of each of the top facades. Alright guys so I've just paused the mission because I'm not very happy with the harsh shadows that we're getting, particularly around what we're trying to model. The clouds have just gone um, covered up again, so I reckon we're good to restart the mission. It's just going to go back to its last waypoint, make sure it's captured again, and continue on. Alright guys, and that is mission complete for the second capture. And drone is launching, so we're orbiting around. It's coming down to the midsection now. A couple more minutes. We are done. The last mission that we're going to be doing are the invertible panoramas. All right guys, so we had a little issue where the growth has uh, been a bit more than what the point cloud had said. What you do is, in preview, you can run the simulation of the mission 
by doing this little scroll here and then I believe the tree was about here so what I'm going to do I'm just going to clear it from about here and I'm going to cut this mission. Launching. And it's as easy as that guys, we did a quick little alteration to the flight mission on the fly just on the desktop app and uploaded it to the drone, cut out the section that was interfering with the tree and boom, being able to keep going with the mission and finish it off in record time. Alright guys, so that's it, we're wrapped up. As you can see, Drone Harmony is a super powerful and intuitive application for all your inspection requirements, especially for the Mavic 3 Enterprise. The planning is super easy. We're able to import freely available point cloud data to be able to plan the model for this in advance. So basically you can plan this yourself and upload it to a subcontractor to then carry out the work to your specifications. So highly recommend you guys check out Drone Harmony. It has a very robust selection of inspection tools from uh, towers to just basic modeling like this and inspection work as well as solar. So we're gonna be testing a lot of these in the next coming months. So stay tuned and check it out. See you guys in the next one.